Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a drugstore video. Um, I'm just going to be doing a my everyday normal face routine by using my favourite drugstore products. And I'll explain why I love them and everything while I'm doing my makeup. So I really hope you enjoy. So... First, I will be taking my favourite promo at the moment. This is by Chi Chi. It is the Pre Foundation Moisture Perfect Skin Primer. The reason I love this is because it is a dual purpose product. It is a moisturising skin serum and a face primer in one. So it really, really moisturises your face. Um, and at the same time gets your face ready for your foundation that you're going to put on. And it also... This primer makes your foundation really flawless, I've found. So, I'm really loving it at the moment. And it's just like a clear kind of gel. So, it feels really nice. And, oh my god, it smells amazing. I love this smell. Okay, so, next for... Oh, my do. I have two concealers. This one is the Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind um, treatment for dark circles. Ooh, and it just looks like this. It's really popular actually, and I'm I'm really loving it. It really gets rid of that dark circles. So I just put this over my eyes, like so, and it literally just makes your eyes heaps brighter. As you can see, I haven't smudged it in yet. Um, and then I use this Chi Chi 3 in 1 eye concealer. I don't use it for my eyes. I just get use it to get rid of my imperfections. I have a few pimples around my face. So I just... And I have a lot of red patches around my face as well. So I just kind of put them on there. Um, this one kind of has... A weird sort of smell to it it's really it's really off-putting and when you smell something it just it makes you not want to put it on my face um so I think Chi Chi really needs to change that which is weird because all their other products smell really nice so I was a bit surprised when I smelled that one it's not a very nice smell if you hear barking or like growling, it's just my dog sitting next to me. As soon as I said the word dog, he just looked at me. <laughs> He's a weirdo. Okay, moving on to foundation. This is my all-time favourite foundation. It has taken me since I was probably 14 to find the right um, foundation that I love and I love the formula of and the finish of and it lasts all day and it is the Chi Chi Fabulous and Flawless foundation. I'm now 19 so it's taken me a fair while to find my favourite foundation. I've just been having real trouble with it but it's like it's really liquidy but it doesn't turn out really liquidy on your face. Okay, that didn't make any sense. But, I'll just read the blurb um, on the bottle because it basically describes the whole thing. The thing I don't like about these bottles is they're so, so, so dirty. I don't know if I got a bad one or something, but it's just leaked everywhere. And it's really gross. But, I'll read you the blurb. Uh, bleh, bleh. I'll read the little blurb thing on the back while I'm trying to do my foundation at the same time. So it says oil free long lasting ultra light foundation uh, medium buildable smudge proof coverage that is spot on it's medium it's really really build buildable um, I would build it up if I didn't use powder but I like to use powder just to set it a bit more so that's why I use it um 
unique, fresh and natural flawless formula. Highs all imperfections, super moisturizing and antioxidant enriched enriched. So that's like spot on what this product is all about. And I like it when they are actually like the things on the bottom bottles. I can't talk today. The description on the bottles are correct. Because they'll say on the bottle, like, oh, it does this and this, and then it doesn't. It's just, why put it on the bottle? So, but I guess they're just trying to sell their product. But when people buy their product and it doesn't do what it's meant to do, then they're really pissed off. <laughs> so, I just used the tiniest bit of that foundation. And it just looks amazing. And I was watching um, Sean XO's videos. And she's, she describes it as having an Instagram filter on your face. But in real life. Like you don't have to edit your face and whatnot. Which is very true. Actually. I agree with that. So next up, I normally use my Australis um, powder, but I haven't used my Face of Australia translucent powder in a while, so I thought I would use that. And like I said, I only use a tiny bit of powder just because I want to set it. I don't want to make me look like all caking and stuff like that. This powder, there's a lot in there, and I'll just show you. Mine's like full coming out, and it's got a lot in there. So I just take the powder that comes off in the lid and use it. I just dab it in there, put it on my face. And voila! I've actually started using foundations that actually suit my skin colour. <sighs> I just didn't want to admit that I was pale. <laughs> and I would use a foundation that was a tiny bit darker than my skin colour. And then mum, go, mum just says, you look like a freak. That foundation does not suit you. So I'm trying to do my own face colour. Body colour. Something like that. Anyway, I am now going to take the e.l.f. high definition under eye setting powder. That's just the lid because I already took it off. And I just take the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush and put that on. I hope this doesn't have eyeshadow on it. I've probably used it for eyeshadow. Yeah, it does. That's really awkward. Ugh. I've lost my brush that I actually do it with. That's awkward. Here it is. The e.l.f. concealer brush. Okay. That's what I normally use it with. Now I've got eyeshadow on underneath my eye. Makeup problems. I bet you none of, the, none of you have had that problem. I'm just special. So I just use that to set my concealer into my face, like so. Okay. So next I do my blush. Ugh. This is my holy, 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 holy grail blush. And it is the Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink. Baked powder blushes. They're so pretty. This one is like pink with some gold in it and stuff. I just love it. And I don't... Everyone likes the Luminoso and all that, the really popular ones. But I decided to go with like the not so popular ones. Like I've never heard anyone say anything about the Dolce Pink ones, which I think is weird, 
And what I like about these blushes is that they're really buildable. Like, as soon as you put it on the brush, there's not much product on there. But you can build it up. And so if you just want like a really soft blush kind of look, um, you can go for this one. There's a hair on my nose. So yeah, that is my favourite blush. Next up, I will be doing the my highlighting. I use the Chi Chi Face Powder Natural Wall of Shimmer. Um, I use the top one to do highlighting. The top one's kind of, um, I'll just swatch it. It's a really nice white sort of gold colour and then the one down the bottom is like a really, really gold colour. So you can see the difference in the two but I like using the lighter one just because it's winter. Um, I'll probably use the gold one when it's summer when I want a bit more of a sun-kissed look. So I just use the e.l.f. blush brush just to apply that. I just run it along, shake it off a bit because it is very pigmented and I just brush it across my face like that. And it's really, really nice highlight look. I'm really sorry about my camera, it's probably not the best as some people's but it's all that I have. <laughs> and then I'll just put some on my nose and a little on my forehead. Just because I want that nice healthy looking glow. And then just some on my lip. Um, yeah, so that's the natural wall of shimmer. It's a very, very, very very nice highlighter for drugstore. Very pigmented. Um, the top one that I just use is has been said to be very similar to the NARS Albatross, which is the very, um, what do you call it? The very popular highlighter. I don't have it. I haven't really had the need to get it. I have my MAC one and I have this one, which I both, I love both of them, so... No need to get the NARS one. Um, next I'll do my eyebrows. This is my favourite drugstore um, eyebrow thing <laughs> besides the e.l.f. one. I was using the e.l.f. one for a long time and then uh, I'd get ready for work and I'd be in a rush. Um, I slept in or something so I've changed to this one. It's the Australis Tint My Brow Brow Tint. And I absolutely hated this product when I first got it. I was like, what the hell? It's like a little mascara thing and it's got liquid. And then when you put it on your brows, they literally do not move. <laughs> Once they've dried, you can't move them. Um, but recently, yeah, I've just been exhausted. wanted to sleep in and get up and I have 20 minutes to get ready. So I quickly do my makeup and I just pop this on over my eyebrows you just basically like that it actually fills your eyebrows in really well and this is like the exact same color as my eyebrows the one I was using with the elf one wasn't really my color it was in medium and I thought that would be good the problem with the Australis eyebrow tint is that it comes in only two colors it comes in this color which is really really light and then they have a really really dark brown one so it's a really it's really weird you can't really get an in between unless you buy both and you can't even really mix it can you because of the mascara thing yeah it's a bit weird so if you don't have those two kind of type eyebrows then it's a bit hard but yeah I'm definitely loving that at the moment um, next up, we'll do my eyes. I was going to do some eyeshadow, but then I just thought I'd show you my kind of everyday look. So, an everyday look doesn't involve eyeshadow at all, unless I'm feeling spontaneous or I've woken up early and I actually have time. 
So I'm just going to go with the nat more natural look and I'm going to use the Scandal Eyes Rock and Curves Mascara by Ramel. I've actually been really loving this at the moment. I was a bit undecided about it when I first got it, but I started using it again. I'm actually going to use a mirror for this. <laughs> My own mirror. And it makes your lashes just so long and pretty. If you don't wipe the front of the liquid stuff on, it kind of clumps up your eyelashes though, which is kind of annoying, so don't recommend doing that. <laughs> For those of you who follow me on Instagram, I will take a photo of this and put it up after I've uploaded this video, just so you can see the finished look in more definition. So, so yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you liked this video. I might actually just quickly choose a lipstick. Um, hmm. This is hard. I have a lot of drugstore lipsticks, as you might have seen if you follow my Instagram. I showed you all my lipsticks. Um, it's really hard to choose because they're just all so awesome. But I'm going to go with... Ugh, oh my gosh, I don't know. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with a coral lipstick. So I'm going to go with the Essence Lipstick in Coral Calling. Just going to quickly put it on. For only like $4, it's really vibrant. And I'm really sorry, my lips are so dry, it's disgusting. And so that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I will put all the products I used in the bar below. This description bar below. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing all my favourite drugstore products. I'm definitely impressed with all the the uh, all the products I used in this video. I love them so much. They are definitely worth the money. Um, they're they're very cheap for the quality that you get. So yeah, please remember to, remember to like this video and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.